Oh, everyone. This is K's Outdoors coming at you with another video. A DIY hot tank stove. The reason why I made this stove is because I didn't really want to spend the money on something that's really expensive that I'm only going to use every now and then. And that was the reason why I wanted it was because I have a hot tent stove, a uh, hot tent, I need a stove, and then ice fishing. So I got an ice fishing shack that worked perfect. So I'll show you exactly how I made it. Pretty much made it all out of scrap metal. Stuff I had lying around the, the shop, pretty much. So this here is just a piece of metal I bent. And then it's on a four inch duck cap. Got a couple of holes there for vents. And that's just a four inch exhaust pipe that I put on the front of it. What I did was I bent a bunch of sheet metal to make a rectangle shape. And then I put two caps on each end handle here. I got some bolt on legs that come out. I got some more air vents. And then on the inside I got all my pipe. Pull it all out, show you. Got about four pieces of pipe in there. They're all about 13 inches long. Show you guys the measurements. So 13 inches long on that side. It's about seven and a quarter that wide. Or that wide. Seven and a quarter. Four inch pipe. That was just a three. I guess they're all sitting at a foot and a quarter. It's also a nice little poker I made. It's got a little bend in the front with a square birch bark handle. Screen in there so it keeps the coals off the ground or off the bottom of it, I should say. Put that handle on the side of here so it makes it easy to carry, especially whenever you're heading out somewhere. And you can't really put this in the backpack, it makes it a lot more convenient to have that on there. I know my weld jobs are pretty terrible. I've used my crappy little welder in this. I'm not concerned about the welds. 
I'm more concerned about keeping the heat inside the tent than I'm at night. Well, as you can see, I was going to try and rivet it all together, but I didn't really like that too much, so I ended up welding it all up. And after I was done with it, I grinded it all down and painted it uh, black stove pipe paint. At least then it'll keep it from rusting. This isn't really your ordinary type of wood stove either. It's got a round entrance on it so you can feed the wood through instead of a, an ordinary square one. This here I was trying to make a certain design like a I'm not 100 sure what the name of the wood stove is that I'm thinking of right now. I can put a name at the bottom of the video at the moment once I figured it out. But uh, the design that I went with, I like it because it seems a lot more efficient. You don't have to put more moving parts in it. You just pretty much just slide it off, throw your wood in. Your cap back up. I have to do a video on this stove sometime soon. This is a, a bit the stove that I made really quick just to heat up the, the workshop here. It's only a 10 by 10 workshop, but it's the job done. It was made out of an old race car fuel cell. Well, not a fuel cell, but a race car fuel can, like the old uh, canisters, the ones that did pull the fuel and throw it away. I'll show you it really quick. It's a nice little wood stove. It gets the job done. Flat the top there so I can put something on there and boil it. Right now it's in between the flame here. Yeah. Only because we got a little bit of snow outside. Gotta stay warm somehow, right? Alright guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I'm always there free to comment to you guys when you guys have any questions and I'm there to answer. Um yeah, just like and subscribe for uh, more further con uh, videos. I'll have to take it out and put it into a field test and tell you guys exactly a perfectly good review on it. Alright, thank you.